check out the website at http colon slash slash video gamer zone com for all of your computer needs at very reasonable prices buying video games not now maybe never again the video game industry has been one of the strongest industries during times of instability though it hasn't been immune to hard times it has continued to have a strong foundation nevertheless gamers on the other hand are not so secure financially at least most of them don't want to speak for anyone or everyone for that matter but from reading numerous posts and countless comments buying video games at $50 plus for any or every game they want to play ain't happening anymore there are many options that video gamers are choosing to use instead of buying high-priced video games one of those being buying used video games to the joy of GameStop or Amazon com whether it's a gamer wanting to get more value out of the money they are spending or the simple fact they just can't afford to pay a new video game price used video game sales has risen this year compared to previous years another option gamers are using is the renting of video games to the joy of companies like Gamefly Gamerang Blockbuster and others depending on your game skills or time you have available to play paying less than half of the cost of a new video game and possibly being able to play more than one game of your liking is a huge benefit, let alone money saver. And companies like Gamefly also sell used games as well, the best of both worlds for some. The downloading of video games has been very popular with console gamers. The ability to download a game, and in most cases instantly and for a small one-time fee is like honey to bees. Not just video games, but also movies, music and other apps makes this a good alternative to buying a video game. Video game swapping or trading sites like Guzix or Replay Games is just another method of playing what you want to play without breaking the bank. Some might even prefer this method over buying used video games. Check it out, you buy a game costing you $50 plus. You beat the game, then what? Do you trade it into GameStop for half or less than half of the value? How about trading that game for another game of the same value and paying less than $5, only to cover the postage? This is appealing to many gamers. There are still a numerous amount of people who buy video games brand new, some just like having and keeping a physical product. Nothing wrong with that if you have the money to do it, and don't mind doing so. But there are other options, and gamers have been using each if not all of them to get more value for a dollar. Whichever alternative you choose will ultimately save you a great deal of money in the short and long run. This could be why many might now or ever again buy new video games.